Hey, I'm Ken Stortz. Um, I am the writer in the beep. I've been a songwriter all my life. Um, I started writing when I was a little boy, just my way of communicating what I'm thinking about, my way of talking to God and sort of working out what it is about life I want to say and, and what I'm feeling inside. And um, you know, I gave my life to God as a teenager and, and started uh, writing more music just you know, about Him, to Him. and. Um, that what took me through church bands and a band called Finger Paint, and then uh, when we started a band called Skillet, we got signed and toured uh, with that band. When I left Skillet, I wanted to do something else with my music and my songs, and that is the beep. The beep stands for um, a change in life, something that wakes you up, beep, time to change, time to think through, make some kind of difference in your life. I grew up in a time when in school there was these film projectors and it would always beep and you'd advance to the next slide and just sort of that, that goofy idea, it's electronic which I've always loved and that mixture of uh, electronic and punkish type thing and so the beep is sort of that, um, you know it's that word, when you hear the beep it's time to make a change. I think when Ken describes the beep as being electric and human, I feel like the electric description probably describes the, I don't know, the sonic diversity that the band brings. You know, you've got your standard punk rock power chords, and then you've got the laid back, really soft songs, and uh, I think it covers a pretty wide range. When you talk about the human aspect, I think the relatability of the lyrics um, that Ken writes. It wouldn't take a whole lot of work to really relate to what he's trying to say. And he talks about some very personal situations in his life and uh, it's really easy to connect with those and really um, relate to them on a personal level. There's not enough innocence in the world for you to take yet still you try to get high. I grew up listening to pop music and then when I started playing guitar I fell in love with sort of the heavy music of the day, Iron Maiden and Ozzy. But I always loved melody and so some of those bands like The Cars and Blondie and ultimately up through you know later music, The Foo Fighters, Muse, King's X, bands that had like a guitar driven sound but also had this understanding of deep themes. I think in many ways we're quite an old school band, don't normally see that many guitar bands around these days. We're not the sort of band where you'd get your camera phone out and take, a, take in a special little moment. It's more, a, it's more involving for the audience. The dynamic as a whole, we're, they're all very relaxed, all very chilled. Even though the music's high energy and we play high energy, we're very relaxed and we just love playing together. I think ultimately we just want people to come along, enjoy the music and have a good time.